Deanne Lufkin with Cannon Bell's Cheese. And today, we'd like to show you a few ways to use our cheeses in grilled cheese sandwiches. We think that our cheese makes exceptional grilled cheese. So right now I have all of our block cheeses, but if you wanted, you could even use our cheese curds in your grilled cheese. Just cut them up really finely, kind of like you would shredded cheese. And it works really great. But today, what we're gonna use is our queso fresco and our gouda. But personally, we have our lines of cheddars, our plain, our painted desert, and my favorite, the Tuscan cheddar, because I think it's exceptional with grilled cheese and tomato soup. So today what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a simple grilled cheese. It's actually what we make in our coffee shop at Cannon Bell's Coffee and Ice Cream. We're just gonna use bread and our queso fresco. I find the easiest way to open these packages up, the vacuum sealed packages, is just take a knife and cut it in half. Um, so that's what I did. Um, then we're gonna go fancy, and we're gonna use some of our Gouda. It's about a year old Gouda. Oh, no wait, this is a nine month old Gouda with some fresh green apple and some ham. So let's put it together and see how they turn out. I like to use just a simple cheese slicer, um, but you can also use uh, shredded, uh, a cheese shredder and shred your cheese. Sometimes that makes for an easier melt. It also depends on how thick your slices are. As you all know, the thicker they are, the longer it takes for that cheese to melt. All right, so let's put them together. Just use some normal butter, um, everyday butter. I'm using white bread today because oh, it's pretty fresh white bread. So. Bread is gonna tear at this butter, but. All right, so for the just plain queso fresco grilled cheese, just line them up. If it's too big, you just kinda double them up a little bit. See right there. With the Gouda, since they're wedge pieces, we're gonna alternate that. pieces of ham on here. And then some fresh apple. So my dogs can't get enough of our cheese. Neither can my cat. They always creep and stalk us when we're cooking. Now we have our sandwiches all ready. I have a cast iron skillet that goes over both of my burners, but typically I would do this on just one frying pan, but I thought this is the best way to do two at once for me. A helpful tip if your bread is a little thicker, like you have a homemade bread, or if your cheese is pretty thick and it's not melting super well, you can get a nice lid for your frying pan and put it over that sandwich because it traps that heat and acts like kind of like an oven, so it will melt that cheese pretty evenly. So it really helps when my husband makes homemade bread, which is the best with our grilled cheese or a nice artisan loaf that's a little thicker. It just helps that heat get into that cheese because that bread is acting a bit like an insulator, so it helps trap that heat and grill your cheese. So I put the lid over the ham and apple and gouda because the meat and apple were acting as an insulator. They were nice and cold. So the gouda wasn't melting as well, so put that lid over the top to help it out. So they're just about ready, or they are ready. So let's cut into them and see how they are. Oh, look at that. 
little bit of heaven. Oh, cheesy goodness. All right, and then let's look at this apple, ham, and gouda. Oh, 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 oh. oh look at that. Doesn't that look wonderful? make this sandwich, so I did. What do you think? Gonna be good, Greg? Go for it. Oh my god. That is really good. Normally, I don't add anything to my grilled cheese, because I love cheese, but holy cow, this is good. I might have this every day now. Thanks for joining me while I made grilled cheese sandwich. I know grilled cheese for me is a real comfort food and it helps me get over this cabin fever from this quarantining. So you can buy all of these cheeses to help with your cabin fever at our coffee shop in Cannon Falls, right on Mill Street in downtown. Or you can find it at various high bees and other co-ops around Minnesota. You can go to our website down below and to find different locations where you can buy all of these cheeses. So we hope you enjoyed this and join us next time when we cook up something even more exciting with our cheese.